Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you a really simple way to make sure your files are backed up before you go home from school for the summer so that you have access to them all summer and you'll also have access to them this next school year. So if you want to follow along or get any of the links in this presentation that we're going to go through today, this is the web address for you. It's bit.ly forward slash file, that's a capital F, storage, that's a capital S, Google, that's a capital G. This is all my information. If you go to that presentation, you'll be able to click it and find my channels. And now let's talk about the problem. So the problem is that your desktop looks like this and your tech director, this is my tech director, Mike. He's a great guy, but sometimes he looks at me like that. And he says things like, Amy, I need you to turn your computer in for the summer. And I might feel sort of panicky if I know that all of the files I really need access to may not be there next school year. Because that computer could get wiped, it could get switched out, any number of things could happen. And also, just FYI, my desktop does not look like that because I am terrified of losing files. And if you have them stored on the hard drive of your computer and something happens to that hard drive, even Mike may not be able to get them back. So let's talk about a possible solution. A solution is to upload them to the cloud or put them on a USB drive like this. The problem with the USB drive solution is that it's not as reliable as you might think. I used to use these all the time before I started using Google Drive and sometimes they would just go bad. I would have to call Mike and say, hey, can you get this information back? Sometimes he can, sometimes he can't. So really this cloud solution has been a lot more successful for me and I want to get you started with using it today with the desktop scenario that we talked about. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate in our browser to drive.google.com. Now this is my school account and this is an unlimited account which makes it really great for storing all of my stuff all in one place. So the first thing I want to do is go to my gear and check my settings and note whether or not I've got on my conversion settings. So right now my drive is set so that whatever I upload is going to convert into the Google Docs editor format. Well, I'm going to turn that off right now because I'm about to upload some files from the desktop of my computer that I actually don't want to convert into Google Docs format. I've got one that is uh, business cards and that format won't print out correctly for me if I switch it over. So I'm going to turn off that setting and now I'm going to make a home for my new files to go into. I don't have time to sort them all out today so I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this work computer desktop files so that I'll know what it is later and I'll click create and now I'm gonna open up that folder that I just created and now I'm gonna drag and drop the files from my desktop of my computer over into this space so here are a whole bunch of files I'm just gonna multiple select I just clicked the top one I held down my shift key and I clicked the bottom one that selected everything and I'm going to drag and drop all of those files over into this space and they're going to upload and they're going to stay the same file type they already are. All right, my files have almost uploaded and you can see them all showing up here in my Google Drive. What's really great about this is I'll also be able to go to the Google Drive app on my phone and I'll be able to open and edit and do all kinds of stuff with those files right on my phone, which makes it incredibly handy. All right, I hope all that made sense to you. We uploaded a bunch of stuff, we made a folder, we made sure that our things are still gonna be there when we get a new computer. In the next part of this video, I'm gonna show you how to download your stuff from there onto your new computer and make sure that it all stays synchronized all the time. So I hope you like this and you join me for the next part. Thanks, bye-bye.